Okay, student. Today we will discuss the concept of pivot and unpivot in SSIS. For SSIS, we have to start with the Visual Studio SSDT. So, what we have when we see that we are having the concept of SSIS, we have to perform the pivoting and unpivot. Pivot is related to the change the view of the data. That is, change the view of the data. Like, if we are having the row values are there, we have to transform those row values into the column values. That concept is known as pivot. Whenever we are having the different values are here in the form of the rows, we have to transform those value into the column format. That concept is called pivot. That we are using the change the view of the data change the row value into the column value how we can let we are having one data set is available i have some uh, few records are available in that notepad file we are having month name three different columns are there month name day of week and sale amount list of the values are for month name january 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 February, then March, then April and so on. Day of the week, we are having the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Same for the sale amount. We have the different sale amount integer values are available. Now, if we are having these value, these are the different records for the approximately different six month data is available. If we are having the different rows are there, that does not provide a clear view, clear picture. If we want to change the view of the data, how? We see that one column is available over here, the month names that are containing the unique month name like January, February, March, April, May and so on. Day of the week that should be in the form of the different columns like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday so on. So and all of these sale amounts should be the value. Like let us take the example over here. For the same data, we can just display it over here in Excel sheet that how we can create the pivot. So, let we are having the month name. And we have the different month names are there. January then they drag it up to November and December. These are the month names are there. If we are having the day of the week, so that can be transformed like uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So drag it up to Sunday. So these are the different. Now what we have the different values are available. So we have to write those value over here. In the month of January, what is the total sale amount for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, same for the February, March and so on. That is the change the view of the data. Here we are having the data values are available. So that data values are transformed into day of the week values are there. Those values are transformed into the, into the form of the column. So that concept is called whenever we are having the row values are there, transform row values into the column that concept is known as pivot table in SSIS. How we can create it? Let we have to create the new project in SSIS. So we have to select the business intelligence in integration services, select the project names. That I am selecting the project name pivot table. I am creating the new project default location. So whenever we will create the very first steps, we are having the three different concept must be there: data flow, control flow, and connection manager. Data flow that define the order. Of, uh, sorry, control flow that define the order of operation and condition under which those operations are performed. Data flow 
that is perform that is related to the ETL extract transform and load and connection manager that is used to create the connections between the source and destination first of all we are having here a control flow tab and this control flow tab when it is clear still it is the different toolbox are loaded we have to drag the data flow task and drop it over here on the control flow on the left side we are having the different type of the package are there by default package extension is dot dtsx and ssis sql server integration services double click it over here to configure it more to the data flow task double click or edit it we will move to the next tab in the data flow tab now first step we have to select the source data at source data we see that we are having the one notepad file that contain the different values are available having the three main column month name day of the week and sale amount right and the values are there that is available at the desktop so file data is stored in the file format of the notepad so that is a flat file we have to select the source flat file select it over here flat file source and drop it over here now flat file is related to the notepad now still now here we are having the error message it means that connection manager we have to create the connection with the source data and source data is we have a flat file that is available on the desktop right click and edit it or double click it over here we can easily edit it new file name is available on the source uh, that is a sale report so we have to mention it over here the name of files and its location where this file is available or stored so browse it where we have a file file is available on desktop with the name of the sales report click on open button L click on column it will display that how the different row delimiter are used and column delimiter are used the three different columns are shown click it over here on ok and ok our source connection is done so can connection manager display it over here source connection we are having the file was here sales report we can change the name of this one sales report in the notepad file now next one should be a transformation we want to apply it over here the pivot transformation so pivot transformation that is available in the other in other we have a pivot drag it and drop it now still now that there is no connection is available with the source so we are having the precedence error drag it and drop it with the pivot transformation double click it over here now here we have to mention the pivot key set key and pivot value pivot value the different values that are, are available that map the new pivot output columns or first we have a pivot key the value that must be available in the form of the column names like if we check it over here in the source we are having the what are the different values that should be the column names like the day of week like monday tuesday wednesday thursday right so that should be a pivot key pivot key should be a day day of the week value in the input data from this column will become the new columns in the output so all of those values that are available in the day of the week become the new columns in the output like what we created over here in the our excel sheet monday tuesday wednesday next one set key what are the different values that must be unique and that should be repeated that should be represented as a row value 
uh, what are those value month length identify group of the input row that will get pivot into the one output row now here there is no duplication of the data no repetition of the data same row will not be repeated the input data item must be sorted on this column remember that one input data item must be sorted in this columns right and p pivot value i will come at over here that how the sorting will be performed right pivot value we see that we are having the sale amount for the sale amount we have to, that is considered as a pivot value click it over here on ok button now still when we use it over here the pivot value input key as well as the pivot key value so still it is there is an error message like we mentioned it over here pivot key set key and pivot value but still error message reason is that one we are having the different columns are there available whenever we are applying the pivot we have to mention the different set of the columns what are those columns like we see that monday tuesday wednesday thursday all of these should be a columns but let's see how many columns are there right click and show advanced editor when we click it over here show advanced editor input and output property in input and output property we can click it over here in output columns we have a value month name still now we have only one column is available no other column is available yet right that's why it displays the error message so what we say for this one we see that whenever we are having the pivot is there pivot key means all the value that are available in this one column hmm, must become the output columns how we can say what are the different values are there in the columns so in this one column day of the week we are having the values are there monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday how we can do it we have to mention those list as the columns those column values are here we see that monday then next one we have a tuesday next one wednesday next one thursday if any column value is not okay it will display the error message monday tuesday wednesday thursday next one friday and saturday last one we have a sunday these are the list of the these must be list of the columns monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday now we have to click the where generate column now we have to create these columns with the name of the monday tuesday wednesday and so on generate column now it see that these following following column will be generated right we can copy those message over here or even we can click it over here on ok button now column names are here c first friday sale amount c monday sale amount and so on click it over here ok now here if we checked now this one column name is not a correct option so we have to let change it ok click it over here ok now this one is fine if you want to make the change on these column values how we can change right click show advanced editor now let's see that how many different columns are there input and output property and here default output and then output columns are there we are having this one the column list of the columns are available those columns are c friday sale amount let this one column name is not okay so how we can may be able to make the change the name of this one the click it over here it will display the property of that one column names are there column names are here c underscore friday sale amount even if you want to use it over a sale amount that is fine and pivot key values here again it is displaying it over here parenthesis so i remove it so pivot key value must be match what we have the value over here if the spelling are incorrect in the pivot key value as well as in the existence file 
it will display the error message what we have to do click the error on ok button now you can check the list of the columns are available click ok now pivoting process is done next step we have to move this one data we have to load this one data at destination so how we can load data at the destination so to load the data at destination we are having oledb destination drag it and drop it now pivot we are having the precedence error drag it and drop it double click it over here we have to mention the destination click new we want to create the new destination new mention the name of the database server if we are having the localhost so just simply press dot so it will accept all of the values that are related to the local database or okay i print double dot now single dot should be here now it should it select our entire database name we can select any database for destination let we have a database with the name of student select it test connection it succeeded yes connection succeeded click okay and click it over here okay and click okay now table is not available at destination we have to create the new table click it over here on the new now table name is here we should it sales report and that is the pivot month name list of the column if you want to change them we can change them like c underscore five day sales amount we can simply use it over here five days monday saturday what we want we can use any column names right so i am leaving as it is click it over here okay click on mapping so column names of the source and destination are the same click it over here on okay button now this one is done no it seems that it will work properly let's see click it over here on the start button execution will be performed if there is in any error it will identify those error message what's wrong if there is no error it will simply display the data properly and data will be moved to the destination that is a uh, our new table like from sale report it takes data all the records are there 41 that apply the pivot and that transform it in it into the six different rows right let's see at the destination what's going on here student database and table we have a we will have one table with the name of the sales report that is and pivot right click select top 1000 rows it will display the different records over here those records are in the pivot forms right month list of the month names so those values are the unique now here the different columns are there against values are generated over here and displayed over here that concept is known as pivoting we transform we take the value that are available in the row row values are transformed into the column formats and then store it let if we want to delete this one all the data that we have delete from table name is here sales report pivot and then we have to execute it now it delete all the record let if you want to re-execute it stop it and i just want to display it over here and how we can do it just over here click on this one precedence error right click and click it over here on the enable data viewer it will display those value over here and then execute it 
enable data viewer will display the data to instead of moving to the original database it will display the records over here right it see that we are having the different month names are there and list of the columns are there Tra transform it and display the value over here detach detach close it now here this transformation is done process is completed that concept is called pivoting transform row value into the column change the view of the data that is a pivot now let's see we have a data available in the database in database table again if we check table name is here sales report pivot so this one is if we want to transform it not like this if we see that column values are transformed into the row like month name should be here then the difference for the january and then we are having the sales also friday then monday then saturday sunday and so on how we can achieve this one value using the pivot value or how we can transform that this one table into this format right or even the database how we can transform for that one we have to use the concept of unpivot pivot and unpivot unpivot column value will be transformed into the row let me add the new ssis package right click it over here new ssis package whenever i add it over here the new ssis package so here again i have to click it over here the data flow task double click it over here now it will move to the data flow tab our destination we have to select what should be a destination should be here so destination is here uh, sorry so what should be a source over here source oledb source we are we want to take the data from the student database double click click it over here on the new table is already database is already selected so that is student click okay now table are view no we have to select the table for the source data so table is here for the source that is a sale report pivot click it over here on the column we are taking all the columns okay done this one, all of these data containing the in the form of the pivot table we have to transform it unpivot it so we have to apply the other transformation and that is a unpivot here we have the concept of unpivot precedence arrow drag and drop it double click it over here now what are the different columns that we want to unpivot it now here these are the columns which must be used as a value in one column so here we see that month name is okay that is a column other columns are there friday monday saturday sunday so we have to select these select all of these that will be added over here okay now these are the added over here now we have to use it over here input columns are there see friday sale amount pivot key values are there pivot key value we can change it or we can use as that as it is destination columns we can use any column names for the destination but all of those all of those is input column must have the same value so we see that's a sale amount so for all the other values just copy it that must be same i use it over here sale amount for pivot key value i just want to simply use it over here like friday saturday sunday not uh, the sale amount value i don't need it we can use although these value existence that you can be used over here no issue but that's good approach that use the proper value over here in what we have uh, previously now 
now here we have a unique values are available that will be stores in the pivot value so what should be the column names for this one pivot key value column names so we can use it over here day of the week a weekdays any name we can use it over here so click it over here on okay this one is on pivot after that one we have to select the destination so which one should be a destination again we are selecting oledb destination so we can select any one drag press this arrow and drop it double click it over here now the connection manager is the same for the source and destination both of these we are selecting the student database but we are creating the new table we say that the table name should be here sales report and uh, for this one we say that on pivot list of column column names are there weekday sale amount and month names so we can change order month names instead of copy it use it at the start then we are having the weekday and last one we are having sale amounts click on okay button click on mapping now it said that weekday value will be moved to the weekdays sale amount will value will be moved to the sales amount and month name will value will be moved to the month name and click on okay button now execute it let's see what will be happened if nothing is wrong thing will be help thing will move from source to destination pivot table will be transformed into the unpivot tables so that is related that is not related to this one that is a view studio error so here it see that six values are taken from the source unpivot them and 41 values are transformed at to the destination let's see in our destination just refresh it we have a sale report on pivot right click and this one now these are the records over here that are transformed from source to destination that procedure is related to the pivot and unpivot now